Why does Vietnam have a complicated relationship with China? Let's talk about it. Even though Vietnamese culture has been greatly influenced by China, and China helped Vietnam in their fight against the US in the 1960s, China and Vietnam have traditionally been enemies. After relations between the Soviet Union and China soured, the Chinese were afraid that the Soviet Union would use Vietnam and Laos to harass China from the south. These fears were eased when Vietnam left Cambodia in 1989 and the Soviet Union collapsed in 1991. It's ironic that the Vietnam War was fought in part to contain China because today the Vietnamese want the Americans to contain China. Vietnam and China fought a fierce one-month war in 1979 after 250,000 ethnic Chinese in Vietnam fled persecution in Vietnam invaded Cambodia and ousted the Beijing-backed Khmer Rouge. The war was an embarrassment for China, who were thoroughly trounced and suffered as many as 20,000 casualties in two weeks of fierce fighting. Before, during, and after the 1979 Vietnamese-Chinese border war, there was also anti-Chinese propaganda in Vietnam, forcing many of the country's most talented entrepreneurs, who were ethnic Chinese, to flee Vietnam. In 1979, some 300,000 boat people fled Vietnam. Many of them were persecuted ethnic Chinese who sailed to Hong Kong. Many ethnic Chinese that fled Vietnam now reside in Kunming in southern China. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, ties between China and Vietnam have improved. Vietnam and China normalized diplomatic ties in 1991. Trade between the two countries is booming and Vietnamese leaders of China have visited China and Chinese leaders have visited Vietnam. China has helped renovate the rail line between Vietnam and China. In January 2000, China and Vietnam signed a treaty defining a common land border. However, the countries both claim sovereignty over the Spaltry and partial islands in the South China Sea, and this dispute is a potential source of renewed tension. Ideological affinities are driving improved relationship with China, and trade between the two nations reached 2 billion in 2000 and soared to 7.2 billion in 2004. But despite improved relations, Vietnam remains suspicious of China's intentions. Two-way trade was 16.3 billion in 2009, of which 16.5 billion was exported from China to Vietnam, an increase of 8.5% from 2008. Vietnam imports mostly chemicals, machinery, petroleum, and steel from China. In November 2008, a Chinese naval ship made the first ever port of call between China and Vietnam when it visited Da Nang. Vietnam, though, wants to avoid economic dependence on China. Between 2000 and 2009, Vietnam's exports to China increased 2.6 times while its imports from China posted a 9.4-fold growth. Vietnam had hoped to reduce its dependence on China by joining the Trans-Pacific Partnership, building nuclear power plants, accelerating rare earth development, upgrading local industries, and upgrading infrastructure. Vietnam's complicated relationship with China plays a key role in both domestic and foreign affairs. Domestically, the government has been increasingly criticized on nationalist grounds by many activists and some retired military officials for weak responses to what is widely seen in Vietnam as China's aggressive behavior in disputed sparsely and parcel islands. The government in 2011 worked to silence this increasingly public and audible anti-China chorus. Internationally, the government has attempted to increase cooperation with the US, India, Japan, and neighboring Association of Southeast Asian Nation countries as a region counterbalance to China's influence. There has been a history of love-hate relationship with China. For more than 2,000 years, Vietnam's development as a nation has been marked by one fixed and immutable factor, the proximity to China. The relationship between the two countries is in many ways a family affair, with all the closeness of shared values and bitterness of close rivals. No country in Southeast Asia is culturally closer to China than Vietnam, and no other country in the region has spent so long fending off Chinese domination, often at a terrible cost to lives, economic development, and political compromise. China has been Vietnam's blessing and Vietnam's curse. It remains an intrusive cultural godfather and the giant to the north that is always there. Almost a thousand years of Chinese occupation between the Han conquest of Nam Viet in the 2nd century BC and the reassertion of Vietnamese independence as Diet Ben in AD 967 marked the Vietnamese so deeply that they became in effect an outpost of Chinese civilization in Southeast Asia. Both countries are deeply conscious of the cultural ties that bind them together, and each is still deeply suspicious of the other. During the long centuries of Chinese occupation, the Vietnamese enthusiastically embraced many aspects of Chinese civilization, while at the same time fighting with a vigor to maintain their cultural identity and regain their national independence. For the most part, the Chinese recognized the Vietnamese as a kindred people, to be offered the benefit of higher Chinese civilization and ultimately the rare privilege of being absorbed into the Chinese polity. On the other hand, as near family, they were to be punished especially severely if they reject Chinese standards or rebelled against Chinese control. For Vietnam, the most significant characteristic of this country are its smallness and weakness. This Chinese belief that Vietnam is not just another nation but rather a member of the family 
almost Chinese, aware of the blessings of Chinese civilization, but somehow stubbornly refuses century after century to become Chinese, has persisted down to the present day. So what are your thoughts? As someone who's Vietnamese, Chinese, or an onlooker, what do you think of all this? If you like this video, hit that like button, consider subscribing. I talk about money and everything related to it, so don't miss out. And as always, take care of your money.